Hello everyone, let us see how to pre-process the data with Explorer GUI. So this is Weka. We have a clear introduction about our Weka and how to download and install it. What is Explorer, what is Experimenter and everything in the previous video, you can check that out. So let us see Explorer window. So click on the Explorer window, which it will open a GUI, another GUI okay so where you can uh, you have the option okay so in that you have an option uh, called the pre-process the very first stage is what the pre-process so here you can see for this you have to open a file okay let us open a file and see that completely what the pre-process will do i'm just going to use the existing data which is available in weka itself so that will be available in the C drive or wherever the drive which you have installed Weka. Okay. By default, it will show only the C drive. So here it is Weka and in that Weka you have that in the data folder. So let us see. Let us take any, uh, any file. I'm just going to consider, um, okay, weather, okay, weather data just click open so here you can see that this is the window where uh, here you can see the filter okay that we are going to see okay and uh, here you can see that this is having 14 instances this everything we have seen so now let us check what type of data it is like we have 14 uh, sorry we have nearly uh, five attributes that is outlook temperature humidity windy and play okay let us see what type of data type it is so for that you have to click edit in here you can click edit where you can see the outlook is what the nominal okay outlook is the nominal data type temperature is also a nominal nominal means what name okay it is not a measure it is a name so it might be uh, like outlook in the sense it is sunny so any string we will call it as a nominal humidity is also nominal windy is also nominal play is also nominal so everything is a nominal but here you can see that there is no class attribute is selected for example i'm just closing this here you can see that uh, in the class play is nominal okay in sometimes you know if i'm trying to select a different file i'm just going to select a different file let us check iris okay okay so here you can see that class is nominal okay sometimes what will happen is it will be by default there is no class okay so ensure that you have selected the class any specific attribute as a class file for example if it is mentioned like no class okay so in that case you have to make it as a class attribute if you want to make it as anything as a class attribute then go to edit okay and right click here and here you have an option called attribute as a class which means that you can set this attribute as a class so select this click ok now you can see that class is a class attribute so class attribute is a classification attribute we will also call this as a labeled attribute so let us choose uh, where this will be very easy to understand your weather data okay let us choose this here play is the uh, class attribute okay i'm just going to open that uh, class attribute and show you how how we are deciding that this is a class attribute and uh, uh, this is a this this specific data set is used for a classification type okay let us just open that and see i'm just going to open weather nominal data okay i'm just going to open with a notepad so here you can see that it is showing see if the if the weather is sunny okay if the uh, outlook is sunny and temperature is hot and uh, the humidity is high and windy is false then you should not play the play uh, anything okay it's a golf play or anything you should not play so whether you can play or not s or no so here based on these four attributes you can decide whether to play or not so that is what the decision is what the label label or class so this decision this particular attribute is useful to classify any data okay 
if it is sunny hot high and the windy is true then that too you should not play if overcast hot high falls then you can definitely play so always whenever you want to uh, you want to check what type of algorithm you have to use for that specific at data set then you should definitely look for this class attribute if you have any attribute and that attribute is used to decide something then you can use classification technique for that at the data set and if there is no class or label data this will also call it as a label attribute class attribute so, or so you or this is also called as a supervised learning so here you have a specific set of data based on that data you can also predict whether to play or not then this is a supervised learning if you don't have any specific attribute to decide whether you can play or not then probably it is not a supervised learning so let us open an another uh, another data set as well and see whether we have a class attribute or not okay so here you can see title source information the Re okay relevant information number of instances attributes and everything missing attributes they have given so the here they have given that the class class distribution class okay everything is here these are all the uh, data okay so here the attribute here you can see that the class attributes is also here so the class is what democrat or republican so this is also your classification technique okay so few data will be there where you cannot apply the classification technique okay so in that case you have to cluster okay you have to cluster or you can you have to use association rule to find see here this is the segment challenge data data set let us see whether you have anything like yeah even here you have a class attribute brick face sky foliage so based on the previous uh, of attributes they are just deciding whether it belongs they belongs to a brick face or sky or foliage or cement or window or path or grass okay i'll show you with a different set of uh, uh, example as well but let us see here okay so i have imported the uh, data now i have also made this as a class attribute so for that if you want to edit something you can go here and just check whether it is a class attribute or not yes it is and also you can check more about it and if you want to add some more instance to it you can just see i have just clicked add instances it is adding a new one okay but what it are, it is adding is what the uh, random one sunny hot high true s yes. okay so add an instance again it will do the same so it is better if you want to delete it you can just uh, se delete select the instance if you don't want a specific instance you can simply select it and delete the instances okay select that then delete okay so this is what you can do with this and if you want any other any other uh, data to be selected then you can select it delete it and uh, if you want to set an instant weightage if for example that particular record if you feel that that is having a high weightage then you can also do that okay once it is done you can click okay now you can see that these are all the available options so this is how you have to uh, uh, first import the data and ensure that the data that is the class label is set properly okay in the next session we will talk something about the filter how this filter will work what are the various filters we have